Hey guys, this is Strix from Patrick of Tips. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to reinstall macOS Catalina. If your macOS Catalina is corrupt, what you need to do is um, simply open Safari and then go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, yeah, this website. When you get there, scroll down a little bit and then you are looking for a link that says uh -huh, this one final dmg media fire you click on it it takes you to the media fire folder where from which you then proceed to download um macOS catalina just hit download and hit download again And the download begins. Now, when the download is complete, simply right, right click on it and open with the on iChava, and this would unzip the file to your desktop. Enter the password. When it's done unzipping, scroll down, find the zip folder, and then double click on the DMG you find there. Once verification is done, that is, um, the file will be automatically mounted. There you have macOS Catalina. So, what I always do. So as to facilitate I'm um, creating a bootable USB is to drag that installation file into the application folder. So you drag it into the application folder and wait a few seconds. And you're done. Then you have Mac install macOS Catalina. So next, we'll have to create a bootable USB drive. Put in your USB, your, and there it is. Then open disk um, utility. Make sure you're using a, um, a USB flash drive of at least 32 gigs. Click on the USB flash drive. Click on erase. Um, I had a little bit of issue here. Okay, you need to change the format first. Change the format to Mac OS Extended. Then name the then name the flash drive My Volume, just as you can see in the video. And then click on Erase. Click on done, and then you're good to go. And close this utility. Now open um, terminal. Maybe run in the background. Then um, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Instructions on from Apple on how to you know create a bootable USB drive. Click on the option under Catalina and select everything you find there. There will be a link to this page in the description box below. Go back to terminal and then paste it. And then click enter. Enter your computer's password. Now, unfortunately, there seems to be an issue with um, Mac OS verifying this. So what you need to do is to go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and then click on Open Anyway. Click on Open. And Mac OS Catalina will automatically start running. Now close it. 
go back to terminal and paste that command code again and hit the enter key. Um, if you wish to continue, yes, type, type Y and press the enter key. And it will first erase the, the USB drive. Okay, it's asking for permission, give it permission. Once you're done erasing, it will now start copying to disk. This might take a little, might take a while, depending on the speed of your flash drive. I'm using a USB 3 flash, flash drive, so it's a bit fast. And then 80%, it keeps going until it gets to 100. percent we are almost done hundred percent making disk bootable copying boot files and that's it it's done now that you have it this is the what's it called the bootable USB flash drive with Mac OS Catalina in it. Close that. Eject it and then if you want you can test the installation file to just to make sure you know things that is running fine before you finally you know shut down your system that's what i was just doing i was just testing to see if um mark was going to give me if the system was going to give me any co um, corrupt issue or whatever but there was none so now let's begin to flash the computer simply plug in the usb flash drive that is the one with, that has the bootable Catalina in it and then shut down your system. Power on your system and when you hear the sound, press the option key and hold it and release. Now you see three options there. You have Windows, you have Macintosh, you have install Mac OS Catalina. Click on install Mac OS Catalina. Then go to disk utility, continue. When it loads the hard drives, select Macintosh HD data and then click on erase or that minus sign there, like I just did, and then click on delete. All that is done. Um, Click on Macintosh HD, click on Erase, and then Erase. Sorry for the unnecessary pause, I was a bit skeptical about doing this. <laughs> and we're done. You can now close this utility. And then click on install macOS. Continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. Select the Macintosh HD as your installation destination. Click on Next. And the installation begins. 
at this point the computer reboots and it's going to be reboot I think twice or three times during the entire process keeps going this takes a while we are almost there and done we are there so this screen is this is basically like um setting up a new mac so just select your country and you know follow the prompt as you would do if you're setting up a new mac setting up your mac we're almost done and that's it that's it, we are done. We've now reinstalled Mac OS Catalina. But there seems to be a problem because this, what we actually just installed is Mac OS Catalina public beta. So the DMG file is a public beta file. Um, you notice that when you go to system preferences and click on software updates. Okay, sorry, but first, um, as you can see now, my bootcamp um, disk was not affected and my system can still recognize it and I can still boot, boot into bootcamp without issues so this did not affect bootcamp in any way let's close that and then uh -huh, um, I think go to updates and as you can see we are currently on public beta which some of you might not like at all like personally i did not like that so i had to find an option to like um remove that so what i did was click on this part that says details then click on restore defaults enter your password And then to start looking for updates again and if you are lucky enough it will give you the option to now install the stable updates which is um, as at today Mac OS 10.15.1 so once you run these updates then you're good to go hope this was helpful do please give this a thumb a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much do have a nice day